Cilantro. Today we're at Stone Brewing Company. Ladyface Ale Company. Mother Earth Brew Co. Hangar 24 Craft Brewery. Ballast Point Brewing Company. The Brewery in Orange County. Paramount Studios at LA Beer Fest. Obviously we've got a lot of ground to cover here, babe. We went through a big expansion this year. We want to get really good beer to more people. I'm Mike James from 5secondfilms.com. I would like you to watch me brew a batch of my holiday spice beer. I like it when people watch. Hey, welcome to Iron Fire Brewing Company. As you can see, we are very far from opening. As far as actually getting construction done, that all tends to go pretty quick. The hard part's getting the proper permitting. Greg, how does it feel to finally be up and running? I think the most exciting part is actually getting to go out to a bar, see your tap handle, and order your own beer. We're here with Mitch Steele, brewmaster of Stone Brewing Company. How are you doing, Mitch? Great, how are you? How do you stay true to your small craft beer roots when you've got such a big operation going? The CEO of Founders Brewing, Mike Stevens, recently said in an interview that he wouldn't want to be in a startup brewery right now. Do you agree with that? There's an awful lot of craft brewing companies in San Diego. Do you think that that's a good thing or a bad thing? It's good for the consumer. It's bad for people looking to start a brewery. Cedar is definitely an uncommon choice for brewing. Uh, it's usually oak. What gave you the idea to put that in? All right, let's get this tasting underway. This is the beginning. This is right. Stone Levitation Ale. The dark one there is the Black Marlin Porter. So this one here is our 5150 IPA. The next is the Taker Home Triple. Definitely not a beer for beginners. It's got a very full body, almost umami in its satisfaction of my taste buds. Lee Chase, the proprietor and the original head brewer at Stone, is my mentor. So we brewed it actually in honor of him, and Stone actually gave us permission to use the name Lee's Mild. Very sessionable, very, very easy drinking. I would drink this with breakfast every day. That would go really good with something salty or something spicy, bacon, perhaps. This is our orange wheat, but this beer is unique in that we use the entire orange. We get a delivery every Monday from the Groves, put it in a blender, puree it, and then add that right into the beer. It's like taking a handful of pulp orange and just eating it. Yeah, what would that be like, I wonder? I wonder. It tastes more like orange and grapefruit, you know, combined. You got something on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Too hot. I can't do it. Our origin is very similar to that of a lot of craft breweries. It's basically a home brewer hooking up with someone who knows how to shake the money tree a little bit. Uh, Steve was the brewer, Greg was the entrepreneur. They met each other in the music industry. It was rock and roll that sort of gave rise to this whole thing. Cheers. Cheers. Jesus Christ. How do you follow up that? Sex day!